Welcome to my Facebook page. This is Sichamba Jacob. So if you are watching this video on YouTube, please remember to subscribe. Okay. Um, this question is 2022 paper 1 in 10 or ECZ. And this is question 20. In the diagram, angle B, A, C is 46 degrees. This is the angle that we are talking about. And um, A, C is equal to B, C. So AC is equal to BC. That's why I've got uh, these signs. Okay, that's why we've got uh, the signs here and here showing that uh, these two sides are equal. B is due to B is due east. Okay, B is due east of A. So this is uh, the east of A. Okay. So now they're saying calculate the bearing of A from uh, B. So A, for, I mean A from C, sorry, it's supposed to be A from C. This is C. A from C. So, uh, like I earlier said, that when you are calculating this, this is what you do. You go to where it says from, and you make your north line like this. This is what I said. So now that north line, you start moving like this up until you touch the line that is joining the two points. Okay, so now, uh, with bearings, there are so many methods that you can use provided you know the, the, the properties, okay? So, they have said, uh, this is A is due, I mean B is due east of A. So, this is a straight line, this one. And this is uh, the north, meaning here it's 90 degrees. So, this is 90 degrees, okay? So, if this is 90 degrees, to find the angle here, we are going to say 90 minus 44. This, this will be, I mean, sorry, 90 minus uh, 46. This will simply be a 44 degrees, okay? Because we know that it's 90. 90 minus 46, it will give us 44. The angle now from here to here, it's 44 degrees. So upon finding this angle, we can prolong this line. And we know that from here to here, it's 44 degrees. Remember, using the property of uh, parallel lines. So this line and this line, the transverse line here. So the angle that will be here is 44 degrees. So upon getting this angle here, okay, uh, we can find now the bearing that we are looking for from here up until here it touches this line. We know that this is 180 degrees using property of a straight line from here to here. Here to here, it's 180. So we just add these two. One, uh, 44 plus 180, we are getting a 240, I mean two, uh, 224, sorry, 224 degrees. This is uh, our solution, 224 degrees. Now for B, right here, this B, we calculate the bearing of C. C is right here from B. So we shall do this. Look at this. This is what we're going to do. We do our north here. This is very important. North. And we start moving like this up until we touch the line that is joining the two, two points. Remember, with bearings, we go to the left, uh, right hand side. And then up until we touch the line that is joining the two letters that have, uh, that have been mentioned. So C is right here and B is here. So this is the bearing that we are looking for. So now to find this, what we can do, we still need to use property of par uh, parallel lines. So this line and this line, they are parallel. This is 44 degrees, okay? If this is 44 degrees, then this is 44 degrees also. So we're just going to say 360 degrees minus 44 degrees. We are going to use the property of a, a circle. So the entire circle here, it's 360. But we just take away a 44, which is right here. We remain with the, the bearing from here up until it touches there. So what are, we, what are we getting when we say 360 minus 44? It's giving us 316 degrees. So this is our solution. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to, to subscribe if you are watching on YouTube and on Facebook. Remember to follow and also follow me on my TikTok. 
if you if you really want help in mathematics remember we offer online tuitions this is a number that you can get in touch with me you whatsapp i will be able to give you the information that you need for you to join our online classes so 0969175701 bye bye